Yeah, as as we've already seen with uh, in the last tournament with Spencer and how he used his Pokemon trainer, it would be really oh, interesting at, to yeah. see if there's any similarities with Mozu here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's looking like, hey, his Jake is due off to a good start, though. Got two grab strings into some decent aerial combos. Okay, Trying to so go for those reads. Keeping him in the air, too. That's pretty impressive, too, considering he's heading Squirtle, yeah. one of the smallest hitboxes in the game, especially. Doing a really good job spacing him out, but there we go. Squirtle's... Oh. Hey, uh, Mosey trying to string com combos together. Jake back on the recovery. Good recovery there, using his forward air. So we, now job. we got the switch, though. Ivysaur is really powerful, so we'll see exactly. if he... Exactly. Uh, well, I've only ever the seen Spencer's The projectiles will be Ivysaur. really good for him here. Build up some damage, and then he hopefully he can bait and punish something. For me, it's like, well, at, well, since I've only seen like a Spencer's good Ivysaur, mm -hmm. I know that there's so much more than just the side B. The side B is really just to like get you to move. Exactly. But yeah, that, to respect the space. But the up B, where it's like the whip, if you mm -hmm. perfect, like get that angle perfect, that can be such a major move. Plus, he's got that amazing spike. Yep, right and there. there it is. Mosey <laughs> with a remarkable punish on Jake. Uh, as soon as he made that switch, I feel like that stock really turned around for him. Yeah, Ivysaur is definitely for building damage and getting the kills. Yeah. yeah. He, the thing is with Squirtle Squirtle is really good against bigger characters because you can get those combo strings. Yeah. But when you don't have it, Ivysaur is definitely the way to go. I feel like if... You can uh, space characters out. You got a lot of disjoints, which is really nice for your hitboxes. Yes. You're not going to be trading a lot. If, uh, if it was the Squirtle versus, say, a Ganondorf, yeah. then I think that he would have been able to build more damage for Exactly. Sure. But with Captain Falcon, he's lighter, he's faster. Uh, you can get out a lot of more stuff that Ganondorf can't necessarily get out of in terms it, of strength. Exactly. And nice job with the up air combo. Oh, hey, Jay coming right back down. The, oh, nice uh, aerial once again. Okay, now we got the switch. 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 I wonder how Charizard. fast until he uh, uses side B. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, just straight for it. Yeah, right. No on hesitation. The side B. Yeah, that's, what, that's what Charizard was for. Yeah. It, instead of Charizard, just call him side B. Yeah. It's like, I better switch side over to B side and B. Recovery. That's all you need from Charizard. <laughs> Oh, nice grab. Forward grab, too. Gets the kill. But he was at 200% on the ledge, so it was to be expected. Yeah, exactly. Even for Charizard. Yeah. Okay, so oh, now we we're go. seeing... Mozu finally getting some combos in. It's a lot harder for him against the Captain Falcon, yeah. I see. There we go. It's the nice thing about his side B, that invincibility frame. Yes. Yeah. You got to get multiple hits in, guys, when you're playing a Squirtle, the side being. So multi-hit attacks work well there, but not a lot of other things. At best, you'll stop him. If you get lucky, you actually start damaging him. So keep in mind right now, Mozu still has two stocks. Yeah, hey, Jake has one stock exactly. right now. Exactly. And Mozu's going for everything. Knowing he has that stock lead, he does not care. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't stay at the ledge there. Oh, well, I guess it didn't matter with that, yep. with that up smash. But uh, exactly. could, he could have spiked him if he stayed at the ledge and played around a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe, I guess he just wasn't trying to risk it, but Mozu has a really strong Pokemon trainer in this first set that we've seen from them. Yeah, you know what? Personally, with two, with the stock up, I would have I would have like just tried to get the spike because yeah. you could you can do it safely on on Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, and he wasn't at high that high of a damage percentage either. Yeah, but the only thing that's really killing him there is a down spike, I'd say, or a stage spike. Yes, yeah. I like, uh, one thing I was going to just say is that I liked how they were both the tan version of the character. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got a character switch up here. Uh, oh, whoa. Ooh. And we were saying earlier that we are actually uh, not on stream, but we were both saying off stream. We both like playing Wolf as well. Yes. Because Wolf I is just wolf su he's such an interesting character. Much, yeah. I'm glad that he's back. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sad that I can't go get good with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. They each their own. But Mozu having a much better time with Wolf. Yeah. Wolf I, is definitely the heavier character, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, uh, I kind of feel like this is possibly a misstep here. Simply because it seems like Squirtle was able to do Squirtle's job, which is yeah, to build up the damage. He builds it up really quick, 83%. Yeah. But uh, Jake might have a better time against Ivysaur. Not sure yet. Ivysaur's doing pretty well here. But Trying yeah. Yeah, it, well, we got that little bit of the juggle, but that's, is nice. that spike, though, is yeah. just pushing him right back down. He's pretty much Ooh, safe with Ivysaur, go. so... Yeah. He doesn't have to worry too much. He has a blaster that's 10% from a blaster. Pretty ridiculous, if you ask me, but really good for spacing. Oh, air dodge the right way. Nice, he's keeping him in the air. See, that's another thing. Wolves oh. are really good at juggling you yeah. or keeping you up there. That side smash from both of them, to wind back, and yes. we'll try to get it. Wow. Kind of hard to read at times too because of that, but there we go. Mozu with the first stock of the match, but he's at really high percent himself. 
Yeah, he's got to be careful. Jake just has to get a really nice read off of something. Hopefully an aerial or a smash. I'm surprised he hasn't. Well, I guess it wouldn't make much oh, sense there for him to go. switch over to Charizard. Side B, really good. I'm that surprised. 148 if he got that at the sweet spot, that would have been a kill. That would have been an instant kill. At 148, would have been done. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I think Jake finally remembering, remembering that he has the amazing reflector, and what a kill, the down spike off the stage. Switching right back to the squirrel, got to get that damage back up yep. with, uh, with a character that's easier to juggle than Captain Falcon. Mm -hmm. There we go, like I said, invincibility. So all it did was slow uh, Mozu down, did not actually do any damage to him. Oh, and he fell for that uh, dodge However, back into there the is a really good way to read that side B. Um, I think Jake just has to be a little more prepared for it from now on when he sees that Squirtle come out. You know what, this is a lot more even than the last one, so I think it actually was a good idea that he did switch over to Wolf. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's because Wolf has like, I think he really just good... needed to adjust, because he didn't really get to play much against the Squirtle at the start, because Captain Fog was able to dodge a lot of the stuff and DI out of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and he already has started to learn the Ivysaur, and he kind of realized what he needs to do, what he shouldn't do. I like that he's making a lot of good decisions. He didn't go with the side B to get back up on stage. Yep. He went the up B instead. That's a lot safer. Exactly. Um, I think Especially that he has that to be. Range. Yeah, he has to be a Otherwise, lot more. There's going to be a lot of lag when he comes down with that side B. Yeah, and oh, we got we moved over to side B. Yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, Jake doing a really good job actually tying up the percentage now. So it's pretty much an even match. But this grab might do it. Yep. Okay. Takes the stock. You know what? It was really smart that. Uh, when side B was out there, he was just every time side B was trying to do a side B, he, <laughs> was, side B was, <laughs> he was just hitting with the laser. Yeah. It's not Charizard anymore. It's yeah. side B. That's all they use him for. <laughs> so it's like if you see a Charizard, get ready to dodge the side B. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> but I like that he was just challenging it instead yeah. and using the laser to, uh, to stop it. I think it. one thing uh, as a nest main that I kind of want to see from Jake is his reflector has a stall. Which is really nice if Ivysaur is really spamming uh, his own projectiles. So that way he can stay in the air, uh, deflect that projectile, maybe make Mozu think twice, Ooh. but that's it. Oh my god. And you just kind of Down pushed him out. Into the up B. You just kind of pushed first. him out with that yep. up B. That was it. A really good job by Mozu, and that's the set. Really strong Pokemon trainer, maybe even giving some Spencer some competition. Uh, I don't know. Spencer's still amazing, though. Yeah. But I